How can you make your conversation more colorful? With phrases from movies. Elementary, my dear Watson. What's the movie quote you can dryly drop when things go wrong? And what's the most significant line of dialogue in the entire history of world cinema? Keep watching to find out. But first, do subscribe to The English Nut. If you already have, thank you. Houston, we have a problem. This is Tom Hanks's line in the 1995 movie Apollo 13, based on the true story of the Apollo 13 space mission, which was supposed to be the third mission to land on the moon. Hanks plays Commander Jim Lovell in the film. He utters the famous words in a radio communication to NASA after an explosion cripples the spacecraft. But it turns out that this is not exactly how the line was spoken during the actual incident that took place on the Apollo 13 spacecraft in 1970. Astronaut Jack Swigert had said, OK, Houston, we've had a problem here. After being asked to repeat the transmission by the NASA Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas, Lovell had said, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. But when the Apollo 13 movie was made, the screenwriter decided to go with the modified version of the statement because he felt it was more dramatic. It's this misquoted sentence, Houston, we have a problem, that has become ingrained in popular culture. People sometimes use the phrase informally when an unforeseen problem crops up, often with a sense of ironic understatement. Here's an example of how you could use the phrase, Let's say you've gone on a long drive with friends and your car breaks down on a deserted road miles away from home in the middle of the night. At that moment, you could say, Houston, we have a problem. And to find out what became of the ill-fated Apollo 13 mission to the moon, do watch the movie. Elementary, my dear Watson. This is one of the best known phrases that Sherlock Holmes never said. At least not the original Sherlock Holmes character in the series of stories written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. However, in movie adaptations of the books, the fictional detective does say to his loyal assistant Dr. Watson after explaining the reasoning behind his amazing deductions. Elementary, my dear Watson. The line was made famous by the movie The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, released in 1939. Basil Rathbone, who played Holmes in this movie, was a celebrated actor of his time. After he said this line, it found a permanent place in popular culture. However, this was not the first occurrence of the sentence. It was heard earlier in the 1929 movie The Return of Sherlock Holmes, which was the first sound film about the detective. Actor Clive Brook, who played the detective in this version, used the phrase at the end of the movie. Even before its use in movies, author P.G. Woodhouse used the phrase in his book Smith, Journalist, published in 1915. Elementary, my dear Watson, elementary, murmured Smith in this story. Holmes's brilliant deductions were way above the reasoning capabilities of his assistant, Dr. Watson. So I think Holmes was being a little condescending when he described his complex reasoning as elementary to Watson. If you've just impressed your friends with your astute deductions about, say, what's really happening behind the scenes in politics, you could impress them further by adding, elementary, my dear Watson, you ain't heard nothing yet. There are many lines of dialogue in Hollywood movies that have gone down in history, but I dare say that none has had as much impact as this sentence from the 1927 movie, The Jazz Singer. This sentence changed the movie industry forever. Can you guess why? Well, that was the age of silent movies. The dialogues appeared as titles on the screen and the background music was performed live by an orchestra at the cinema hall. All this changed when Al Jolson, the star of the jazz singer, uttered the sentence on screen and created a sensation. His exact words were, wait a minute, wait a minute, I tell you, you ain't heard nothing yet. The jazz singer was a super hit it changed the fortunes of the studio that made it, and it caused the instant death of silent movies. The movie moguls realized that talkies, as this new type of movie with sound was called, was the way of the future. Audiences would no longer settle for reading dialogues flashed as text on the screen. These were not exactly the first words heard on screen, though. The studio had already experimented a year earlier with a song on screen, which also featured Al Jolson. 
but that was a short film with just a song and no dialogues, sort of a precursor to the music videos of today. Its success prompted the studio to make a full-length film with songs, The Jazz Singer. Al Jolson was excited to be a part of this innovative film but was disappointed that he would only be heard singing and the audience would still have to read titles on screen to get what he was saying. And so he decided to say, you ain't heard nothing yet at the start of the recording of the first song of the movie, stunning the technicians and starting a revolution. As it turned out, the line, you ain't heard nothing yet, was prophetic as the world of cinema was changed forever. In case you're puzzled by some of the words in the sentence, it's the colloquial American way of saying you haven't heard anything yet. As in, if you think you've heard it all, you're in for a surprise. Because what you're about to hear is going to blow your mind. You can drop the line in conversation just before you wow friends with a revelation that's going to eclipse what anyone else had to say. For example, you've heard the news about Meta? Well, you ain't heard nothing yet. And then, of course, you have to come up with some news that's even bigger than Meta. A variation of the line that's popular now is, you ain't seen nothing yet. This version of the line could well have been applied to the only other change in the history of cinema technology that compares in terms of impact with the introduction of sound. I'm talking about the move from black and white to color. Someone might well have said, you ain't seen nothing yet at the start of the first color movie. Is there a line from a movie that you really like? Do write it in the comments section. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.